chapter three, called Who is a Novelist? Just the lights, okay. A novel has an author. The desire to write a novel is the single required prerequisite for writing a novel. It is the only thing that overcomes all the handicaps. Perfectionism, low self-esteem, depression, alcoholism, disease, immense riches, economic hardship, deadly enemies, the resistance of relatives and friends, laziness, retarded professional development, <laughs> the normal responsibilities of adulthood, and even imprisonment. <laughs> While the desire to write a novel does not guarantee that the resulting novel will be a good one, or if it is, that the author will produce a string of good ones, it is the only way to begin. Most often, it grows out of a compulsive habit of reading as a child. It was said of Sinclair Lewis that he was always doing two things at once, and one of them was reading a book. Charles Dickens was an avid reader as a boy, his dearest childhood me <clears throat> memories were of reading the tales of the Arabian Nights. I read in preference to almost every other activity, although I did not read anything <coughs> respectable. I liked the Bobsy Twins and Nancy Drew. The Brontes, living in a solitary Yorkshire parsonage with a very eccentric father, not only read compulsively, but also wrote compulsively, and had composed many hundreds of pages by their late teens. Undoubtedly, we were reading for all the wrong reasons. Escape, pleasure, avoidance of responsibilities and human contact. We were reading because it was easy and fun, and because we were unsupervised. <laughs> we were reading to find companions more congenial than those around us. <laughs> we wanted to fill our heads with nonsense and tune out practical considerations. We were not most likely athletic or useful sorts of children. <laughs> we were reluctant to help around the house or to go outside and play. We did not have very good manners because in numerous ways to be cited later, reading books is deleterious to good manners. <laughs> we did not have good sleep habits because if we had, we would not have read under the bed covers with a flashlight <laughs> or held the book up to the moon that shone through the window and ruined our eyes. <laughs> we were reading because we had two lives, an inner life and an outer life, and they were equally important to us and equally vivid. A novelist is someone whose inner experience is as compelling as the details of his or her life, someone who may owe more to another author never met than to a close relative seen every day. A novelist has two lives, a reading and writing life, and a lived life. He or she cannot be understood at all, apart from this. <laughs> um, 